Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sims, it's me Rawls, and this is part 9 of the 100 Baby Challenge, and what did you just see up in that corner? Yes, you did see what you saw, it is Evan, has made it to you on a roll, and so has Eliza, which means as soon as they get their little booties home from school, they're edging up in the teens, and it's gonna be awesome. So we're going to do that, and once I age them up, I'm actually going to give them all their makeovers, because I never did give poor Seth his makeover uh, when he aged up into a child, so he's been running around with a weird into the future little shirt on and whatnot. But, you know, things were hectic. <clears throat> and uh, Ebony is asleep, but she actually should be getting her little butt up at this juncture, so she can get herself uh, dealt with and showered up and fed so that she can finally friggin finish dealing with this little monster Marcus who is aging up like three days after his twin brother because he's been difficult to deal with and he likes to creepily climb up ladders um yeah move out of the way kid Marcus you are such a little oh my goodness like you're blocking your mom into her room. All right, you two are just standing here like, yeah, we're waiting to age up. I will, I will um, oblige you. We're gonna trigger your age transition. So you do that, kiddo. Age on up, age on up, age on up, my boy. And he's successful in school, we made you this trait. Uh, social butterfly is not necessarily a negative trait, so I will, I will, I will make the judgment call that that's not really negative, even though it can be annoying. And then we will, uh, age transition. Yes, sis here. Miss Eliza. And she is going to be disciplined, sure why not? Little Miss Missing. Alright, so I'm gonna cut out and I'm going to give them make alerts and then I will be back. Alright, we are back. I've given all three children little makeovers and the mascot has come to annoy us, of course. And Evan has already sort of autonomously started taking care of his, his, his kid brother, which is amazing of him. He looks a lot like his dad, which, you know, there's a little bit of, of Ebony in there to, to smooth out the unattractiveness. And uh, I actually think uh, she came out looking pretty cute, frankly. Um... She has her dad's kind of downturn, droopy mouth. I did change her mouth in that I only moved it up some because it literally looked like it was about to like fall off of her face. It was like way down her chin, which was not, it, it just didn't really make any sense. It didn't look like a human's face could look that way. So I fixed that, but otherwise I did not do anything to her and I actually think she's pretty cute. She has her mom's nose, which she's going to have to grow into a little bit, but yeah, she's, she's, she's a cutie. Um... <clears throat> But anyway, uh, yeah, thankfully, oh yes, and I gave him this cute little, like, jumpsuit and flip-flops, because he likes to fish. I thought it made look like a fisherman. Adorable! But yes, finally, finally we have teens! Where is this child? How did you get, no, not, how did you get up here? Oh my god, did you climb up the ladder again, you freak? You freakish little boy. Please don't get on that. Oh, God. Why? Why does he do this to me? Why? Why is this creepy child obsessed? Just, he just climbs up and down the ladder whenever he wants. It's the worst. It is literally the worst. God. Please come. And, and don't request that your kid feel your tummy, which is actually the freaking cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Please teach this little creature to walk so he can stop flipping, climbing up and down that ladder. It is driving me out of my mind. It's so horrible. No jam your parents to earn some money. Okay, we'll do it. Just to earn the money, though. <laughs> you say money. I say, oh, sure. All right. Uh, you miss. No, don't climb up that. You, my darling. Oh, you're checking in the stove because you're neurotic. 
You, my sweet darling is darling. You water these plants for your mama. She needs your assistance. I thought I told you to teach this this boy to to walk so he could stop terrorizing us. See, you are in bed sleeping, even though it's Friday. You don't have to go anywhere tomorrow, but it's fine. You can have a rest. You are helping your mama out. And as soon as it's time for you to wake up, you are, start, are gonna start learning some alchemy. Yeah. That's gonna help us out a lot. A lot. Um, hmm, all right, can we please? Please age this child up. He sees this, he freaks me out so bad. It's the worst. It's still on kids, it better be. Yes, it is. Ghetto, ghetto, ghetto. Let's get this done. She's going outside. Deal with the rest of the plants and yes! Finally! Put him down. Put him down on the ground. No, don't put him in there. Let him out of there. Pick him up. I don't care if he, he whatever is wrong with him. Please pick him up. Yes, thank you. You can feed him on the floor first. I really don't care. Just, just do something. Do something to take him out of the friggin crib and then you can clean the house as you've longed to for so long where did you go okay you've gone to bed which I that's fine you can go to bed you want to learn to drive child we don't have a car we do not have a car and I would like treat her as if she's the heir because you obviously if Ebony can no longer have children as of right now she would be the heir but of course Ebony is pregnant and she will I, I am very dubious that she will not have any any more girls. Oh, Silas. Um, all right. We have to repair the stereo. Okay, yeah, you age up. Age up, please. Oh my god, age up. And a bunch of stuff happens. We have this. Which we can sell. For moolah. She's going to bed. Let's see. Who is Lakeisha? I don't even know who that is, kid. And Marcus has aged up. He's ambitious. And he can finally stop freaking us the hell out. What's wrong with your phone? Oh. That was weird. <laughs> and he became a child. Yes, we know. Alright, everybody is in bed except for Marcus here who is going to go to bed pretty soon. So I'm going to zoom through the nights. All right, I wasn't going to head back in the morning, but then after like five minutes, a bunch of people woke up. I mean, I already knew that Evan was going to wake up, but then Ebony decided, eh, I'm done sleeping. What's sleep for? So, yeah. Now, we are going to get him in the shower right quick. I should probably put some lights out here. I'm, I'm going to expand the top level a bit there, so that should be okay. I don't know when she's going to drop these kids. She's going to put away some toys upstairs. You do that, lady. Um, here we are. Alright, you're dressed and ready to go research some alchemy, my son. Research the heck out of some alchemy. So we can get some of those uh, potent, uh, what am I, jiggy potions. Uh, we're not throwing a birthday party. Where would you even have the party? You can make a bed. What game do you want to play? You can play rock, paper, scissors with him or something. Um, and you can clean the bargain john. Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can do that. There we go. Miss Missy. Um... Use that too while you're at it. Yeah, we're almost at 20k. Again, we need 40k for the collection helper. 
Um, how much do we need for the master of seduction? What is it? Social. That's, it should be in social. We need 15k for that. We could get master of seduction, but I really, really want the collection helper. It's not like she's really been having problems getting dudes. So we are definitely going to ha hang in there for the collection helper at this point. He wants to talk to Ebony. Watch a raccoon. Why? I, yeah, you, you love the ideas. Yeah. You are going to create an elixir, my boy. You are going to create so many elixirs. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, and actually, I'm going to do this now. We need to, uh, expand this a little bit. What are these giant sir? Why are there, why are these here? These are literally, like, right on our lawn. Also, there is a gem in the back of our yard. I did not put these here, for the record. They must have already existed here. Because I certainly did not put them there. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, let's just uh do a quick bit of this this uh, and there like that uh, it's probably be easier if i just did it this way what what in the world no that's not what i wanted to do i didn't want to do that at all um we're gonna go i'm just gonna do Honestly, we don't actually need this door anymore. Get rid of that. We're gonna do this entire thing. And I would actually make it even bigger and have it make literally no sense if not for the fact that, uh, I can't get any supports in there due to the absurd what that's weird due to the absurd uh, what am a jig due to the absurd height of the foundation that they have any supports that I tried to put in either would be too tall or too short and I really don't feel like trying to deal with all the CFE that they use so we're just gonna keep improvising here and uh yeah so there's a much bigger room up here now let's eh, get some a couple more windows in here or at least one more how much do these cost eh, we can get three three windows for the kids oh they don't fit right that's gonna annoy me oh i actually only see windows for the kids because that would annoy me too much um so let's Go ahead and do that. We're going to grab this here and do that. Then we're going to need to do some more lighting. And I'm going to put them another bathroom up here as well. Um, at some point. I don't think we have enough money to really do it now. But at some juncture, that is going to be a thing that happens. I'm just going to toss some lights in here. Uh, I don't like that one. Put it over there. And I'm gonna move their beds and whatnot. But they're in them right now, and I don't feel like moving them along with the beds. I don't look great. Would they come with the beds if I move them? I say what? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna move their beds. Ha! -ha! Um, I think I'm gonna put. No, I actually do like the beds in this little. No, I'm not gonna put the beds in this little nook because we're gonna need way more beds than this. So what I'm gonna do? So I'm going to put the beds starting over here. And then we're just going to fill this, this, this wall basically with beds. Uh, and this is going to be their bathroom. I'm just going to put that there. This can be over here. Uh, might as well wall this off already. Since we know where it's going to be. Do it now. Get it done. And then I lied because now I need the door again. <laughs> Alright. Let's do that. Why did the light turn itself off? Make yourself a useful light. Um, turn on. Thank you. And uh, bathrooms don't need windows, honestly. I don't like bathrooms with windows. I know some people would probably very much disagree. I just, I don't like bathrooms and windows. 
They freak me out. They freak me out a lot. All right, so we have that. And last thing, a door. And frankly, a toilet in here would probably be a good thing to have. So we'll see if we can afford a toilet. We can, we can afford, afford a cheap old toilet. I don't think we can afford a sink. Oh, we can. These sinks are actually super cheap. They're much cheaper than I anticipated them being. But okay, so they have a little bathroom up here. It's a terrible, terrible bathroom, but it's a bathroom. And of course they have the nice big space that we will fill with children related items. And this house has been completely destroyed. It looks so weird. But I don't care. They're not going to live here forever. Actually, last check. Let's see. So we are at 20,744 plus the 200. So we're at around 30,000 values. So we still need 120 something thousand simoleons before we can be pleased to move from this place um go tend no don't water tend tend your garden my lady and we're gonna have you go and smelt this stuff and actually we need you to plant let's wait and see if anything else is dead first so that we can replant some red berry beans how are you doing let's see you've gotten a uh you're working on your second alchemy skill that's good have you learned anything you have learned a vial of bliss invigorating elixir these sound very nice elixirs are a thing that i literally never use because i never use stuff from supernatural but now we're gonna you're awake or are about to be awake so you my dear use this toilet take a shower we're gonna get you a fed and then you what can you do? Ooh, you can start making stuff. Yeah. Make some some gnomes for us to sell. Do us proud. Do us proud, Eliza. Well, I might actually have Ebony do that, depending on how long it takes her to finish this garden. No, it's gonna take forever. Never mind. And she needs to be meeting men. Uh, Julian Parrot Strong is going to be our next uh, victim here. So we're just going to call him up and chat with him a bit. We might go see him. Eliza's in a bad mood. Sorry to hear that, Eliza, but I don't really care. Um, Honey, what are you wearing? This is not anything that I put in your outfits, but... God, you know what? You're, you're insane anyway, so it's not like you'll ever wear... Oh. I forgot they have to go into this from the left. My bad. Let's switch this. I mean, that's just kind of more the game's bad because that's kind of stupid, but my bad also for forgetting. So, nope, cancel, 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 cancel. You need a shower. I don't feel like listening to you complain later because you're dirty. I don't feel like it. Then you can eat. Then you can start making us some gnomes. I actually don't know what's the most uh, worthwhile to make. So we're going to make one of each and see how much they're worth. You want to skip school? Well, it's Saturday. There's no school for you to skip. Sorry, kiddo. Uh, you're hungry. I'm going to go go eat in your little tidy. I guess they're not tidy. White is just a blue. And after you eat, my dear boy, you are going to go do some fishing for us since you're an angler. Uh, how are you feeling? You have to go to the bathroom, Elsa. Here, go to the bathroom. And then go fish! Actually, I should have him find somewhere that actually looks like it has fish. That would probably be useful. I mean, I don't see any, like, little fishing. I guess I could send him to a literal fishing spot. That would probably make sense. I'm sure there must be one somewhere on this island. <laughs> Here's one way over here. The hidden fishing hole. Okay, I visit that. Are there any more? Oh, there's one up here too. No, let's visit this one. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like the hidden fishing hole would be like super hard or something. Like it would have really high level stuff that he probably couldn't get. Yeah, who's this? Cliff Cruzita. Is this a child? Looks like a child. All right. Ebony, how are you doing? 
Oh, you're going outside. Wow, a lot of these plants are dead. All right, you have to replant a lot after you chat with your next uh, thing. You learned a recipe for zombification. We don't need that, Evan. We don't need that, my darling. Melancholy serum. Jar of friendship. Ad nauseum. Well, you keep doing that, kid. You keep doing that. You can take a bathroom break pretty soon. Maybe you should call and talk to somebody. Or talk to one of your siblings because you are very sad. You haven't talked to anyone. You want to reach level 4 of alchemy. Sure. All of your siblings are pretty busy, though. Except for this one. You can go talk to him. After you've gone to the bathroom. And you are chatting up whoever the heck this is. Vampiric sunscreen. And how is Eliza doing? So, what have you made, my girl? What have you made? Have you made anything yet? I mean, you appear to have improved your skill to three, but you... I've only made one thing when I told you to make three, but okay, they must have failed. So this is worth 20. Uh, make, you can make perfume now, you can make more stuff. Uh, try glass dragon egg, glass partition maybe. Uh, different kinds of gnomes. I'll make something. And we should also sell this. Space rock, so that you've gotten a bunch of seeds because of that time that you gardened. Well, we have, we can plant this lemon tree. That's fine. We do need one more tree to even out the front yard. I don't really care about red valerian, though. I guess he will need a lot of stuff for like alchemy, but we'll wait till we get to that point. Seth Caution just caught a toll for the first time. I always remember the thrill of saying it wriggling on his line. Good for him. All right, you talk to that guy. You're taking a shower. Then you're going to... You don't really need to invite him over. But you might go visit him. Where does he live? Wow, he lives like way over here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, this isn't where he lives. He's just visiting this rather charming little place. We might go meet him. But I think she's actually going to drop this kid. So maybe no. Ah, uh, the joys of having options again. Oh, girl, what are you doing? So this is what's happening. You're not actually succeeding in making things. <laughs> so how are you doing? Oh, you're talking to your brother like I intended to have you do anyway. How good for you? You want to join the alchemist career. You can't have a career. I mean, that career doesn't even do anything, I feel, because it's not like it gives you any money, but... We will go by the letter of the law here. Um, talk about composting. Not that a child cares about composting. Discuss your TV shows. Get to know. Gossip. Uh, play rock, paper, scissors. Shockabra. How is your social? It's going up. After you finish doing all of that, you can eat some salad. Oh my god, Silas, leave us alone. It was good, Silas. It was it was fun while it lasted, but please leave us alone now. It's over. Why does no one ever use the uh, the thing I, I took the time to put in here? Can they not like get to that for some reason? Because they literally never seem to use it. Or is it just that they don't use it to throw away plants because they always go for like the trash can with plants? I don't know. I don't know. How are you doing? Are you burning yourself up again? Have you made anything else successfully? A glass petition that's worth 60. You gotta find the thing that's worth like a ton. Maybe a window? Arched window? Lots of gnomes. So many gnomes. And you are, yes, you're still throwing away all of these plants. That's the last one, though. There you go, my girl. All right. Let's plant more red berry beans everywhere. Yeah. You're eating. How are you? You need to eat too, but you are. 
how's it going for little Mr. Seth, who actually I sent him here and I didn't tell him anything and he just started fishing his own self. Because like, oh, he's caught so many fish. What a good kid. We have to figure out which of these is. This is excellent fertilizer. This is great fertilizer. This is nice fertilizer. This is nice. So we're going to keep the herrings to fertilize the garden. In fact, might as well just give them to her now. And then we can sell the rest of the fish, which are not actually worth anything probably, but who cares. All right, you have done that. All right, let's s sell. Yes. The red berry beans. Sell these eggplants. Sell these cortado beans. When is she gonna drop this kid? I wanted her to, to have this kid in this part. But aw, hugging her kid. That's cute. Let's do that. I appreciate how cute it is that you're hugging your kid and whatnot, but uh we got things to do. Wait, what's outstanding? Oh these seeds. These seeds are like outstanding fertilizer, apparently. Or one of them is an unknown rare seed. I wonder what kind of seed it is. I'm not going to use it because I don't know what kind of seed it is. And I might want to plant it. But, you know. It's interesting. It's interesting. So, yeah. Use that. And then use the other herring. How are you doing? Have you made anything of use? A dancing glass gnome is only 45. What else have you made? Oh, was that what you had just made? Alright. We're actually going to stop you from doing this because we need to smelt some metal. So, you can stop. You are talking to your brother. You're actually quite sleepy, so you can use the toilet and then you can research some alchemy too. I mean, I really don't care if they're both doing it. It's not that hard a skill to build and he's tired, so he's not gonna wanna do it. And he needs to have fun. Could get them a TV or something. Let's, let's make this a little more like a home. We're going to get rid of this. And let's get them a slightly better shower. Much better. Should probably put a better shower down here too. Just for the sake of symmetry. Um, and let's get them just some relaxation space, you know? Let's get a crappy couch. And... Mm, a crappy, but not completely crappy to me. For the kids to entertain themselves with. There you go, kids! have fun with it i really should actually get a, a uh computer to see if see what we can wrangle with the remainder of our cash we cannot wrangle a computer with the remainder of our cash actually we can get this one the really crappy one um can we get something to put it on yes this counts as something to put it on Okay, that looks actually completely ridiculous. I will pay $20 more for something that looks slightly less ridiculous. Um, okay, we're gonna go with this. And... Uh... Put that there. And... Cheapo chair. Alright. That looks terrible. Let's... We make this look slightly less terrible than it currently looks. Let's just uh, do that. And uh, make this a whimsical color. So it looks like, you know, it's not just total garbage that we picked up because we can't afford anything else. Um, and couch. You can be a matching, vaguely matching. Oh my god, will you go? Thank you. You can be a kind of sort of matching, whimsical sort of color here. Solid. Looks better. Let's maybe a little more vibrant. There.
There we go. That looks slightly less horrible. And now Ebony can uh, check her crap. Check her uh, messages and whatnot before she goes to smelt this metal. Ah! And I'm keeping, I think I'm over time at this point, but I'm keeping this going until she drops this kid because she should be dropping this kid pretty soon. I mean, come on. Come the freak on, Ebony. Drop this kid and or kids. Hopefully kids. No, you don't need to check that out, but you can go use it to... Where is it? Oh, not dating. Here we go. Check your messages. It's impressive she can climb that ladder. Wow, heavily pregnant. Eliza's doing that. All right. Do we have any new messages? We have some new messages. Awesome. Uh, Ricardo, who are you? Maru, Milton, Kai, and Twicky. We're going to accept those. <clears throat> accept those on up. Why am I looking at his people he knows? So I should be looking at ours. So we got a couple more people on here. This guy was not. Wait, who is he? How did we know him? Uh, did we already have a child with him? Kai Kahale. Our first kid. Oh, wait, this guy, we already had a kid with him. Oh, that's Julian. He got old. <laughs> I didn't realize. Okay, so we already have children with Julian. So we can't use him again. Because, yeah, he's their dad. And then. Silas is their dad. So that was almost a mistake. Kai has not fathered any children. Daniel is the father of the children she's currently carrying. So we're going to call up Kai. We don't need to call Julian. He's already fathered our children and he got really old really fast for some reason. That's really weird. I don't know what that happened. Did I have, do I have this like on the wrong? Nope. Age is how it should be. I guess he was just kind of an older fella. Um, what are you doing? Oh. Also, why does it look like there's no door there? Oh, because I had more objects on. Could you be less weird? Thank you! Alright, what are you doing? Go to the bathroom. Don't you, don't you mess with that, boy. I am not playing with you. Go to bed. You are doing that. Good, good, good. Are you still out at the fic? No, you came home. Okay. Good child. Oh, but you're looking under the bed for monsters. And you found them, kid. You found them. And you have broken the toilet, which you were going to unclog. Get used to it. You're still doing this. And you have lots of energy. You keep doing that. Are you done? Ebony. I'm still just waiting for her to have this kid. Like, I'm waiting for her to have these kids that she's currently. Flask of Sleep. Invigorating Elixir. Violet Bliss. So she's basically learning all of the same things that, that he did. Uh, why did I why did I tell her to make that? That's crap. I actually want her to smelt metals. <sighs> Repair the toilets. She's feeling ill. I'm sorry for you, honey. I'm sorry for you, but you're going to smelt all this stuff. Why does it look like she's putting in gems and then getting out bars of smelted metal? And smelt these. Flask of angry beads. A jar of friendship. I don't know what level, like the whole... Uh, Oh wait, you're the one who's out at the <laughs> at the park fishing. You got some more red herrings. Good. Use those to fertilize. Let's just sell the rest of this. Which is not much, but it's something. Oh, those are actually pretty decent. The frogs, I mean comparatively. You're not choosing a lifetime wish at age eight or whatever age you are. Um, and smelt. One more. Come on. Some gold. Smelt that up. There we go. Okay. Sell all this crap. 
You can go to bed. We are going to get her to leave the house after she drops this kid to go find her next guy. There we go. How are these truffles? She still can't plant the truffles. Who is up here playing video games? How was that not waking him up? That's really noisy. Well, whatever. Learn cure elixir ad nauseum. You're hungry. Go eat. No, don't. You bet not. Girl, you do not eat those red berry beans, okay? You eat anything else in this house. You do not eat red berry beans. Make some autumn salad. You never eat red berry beans. Those are worth too much money for you to be chowing down on. And you, my little fisherman. What are you doing? You're going to boast about your fishing feats to your brother. <laughs> That's adorable. Who was actually your twin brother, but you couldn't tell because you're like days and days older than him. Because he took forever. <laughs> he took for flipping ever. How you doing? You still got nine days. <sighs> you want to create an invigorating elixir. I'll make no promises, kid. Oh. <laughs> Marcus doesn't care about your, your, your fishing feats, Seth. I'm sorry. You should already know by now. Your, your brother Marcus is kind of a little bit of a jerk. That's not fair, though. He's not a jerk. He, he just creeped me out a lot. Yes, finally, the baby is coming. Hopefully many babies. So many babies. I have no hope for triplets, but it would be cool. But it's not gonna happen. Actually, I need to get her a lamp. <clears throat> I forgot the terrible person took our, our light in our room. So let's just do that. There we go. All right. Let's give birth. Eliza, how are you doing, honey? You can go to bed after you do that. No, don't take a nap. Go to sleep. Take a sleep. You can do it, Ebony. You want to go to the spa and get a massage. I keep forgetting we have to repair this, uh, this stereo for some money. Come on, girly girl. Come on. Come on. This is a very long labor here. For a sim, you know. New another boy. God, so many boys. Um, we are going to name this one uh Adam. That is a name suggested by a commenter named Kevin. So there we go. There better be another one. Yes, a new girl who is hydrophobic and athletic. And we are going to name her Layla, which is a name suggested by CC. And for the record, Kevin also suggested the name Eve, but I don't want to name a brother and sister Adam and Eve that that has connotations that I, I don't want to think about. There. Just two, three, yes, triplets, and oh my goodness, I bumped into things in my excitement, but I just talked about how, oh no, we won't have triplets, and then we immediately have triplets, um, and we are going to name this one Danny after a commoner who is also named Danny, except with two N's and a Y. There we go, triplets, what's a delight, let's hurry up and get a another crib here we go there we go happiness and joy a billion children maybe that uh what you jig here did work even though you know how did this one just appear on the floor that's weird. Which one is that? Layla. So now we got two girls and it would be Danny who would be the heir if Ebony were to have no more children. 
And for now, we will end this part because she is finally giving birth to these freaking kids. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it very, very much. So, yeah. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye-bye.